Hello my dears, Susie Mack here from Susie Mack Creations um, and I'd like to share a completed um, mini album that I've made uh, for my uh, granddaughter Lily Rose. Um, <clears throat> it's an 8x8 um, album and it has some wonderful cute pages um, inside. It, the closure is just a, a very a pretty pink ribbon and the papers I've used um, on the majority of it are from um, Echo Park and these are called a bundle of joy girl I know they do a bundle of joy boy um, as well um, but obviously as Lily Rose is a wee girl um, this is absolutely perfect um, for a mini album for a baby girl you get uh, is a 12 by 12 um, collection you get lots of lovely um, different pattern papers you get a cutout sheet you get stickers and an alphabet sheet um, and it's very very pretty so without further ado we'll um, take a wee look at the album um, the front cover um, is absolutely adorable um, in my opinion it's adorable I've used a saturated canary um, stamp um, and colored her with my Copics and my Derwent soft pencils uh, cut her out and then mounted her onto um, a couple of very pretty um, dies one uh, the pink one is a spellbinders die um, um, I think oh no it's not forgive me all of these dies are um, tonic. They are tonic dies. The corner um, here is a spellbinder's die. Um, the little tag is, I think, um, not very sure whose die that belongs to, um, but it's lovely. Um, my word die I've had for a long, long time, and I can't remember. In fact, I've got five or six different um, alphabet dies, um, so I can't remember which ones are which because I, I very rarely keep the packages. Um, this pretty um, glittery um, pleated trim is from the Ribbon Girl um, .co .uk, and they sell some really adorable. Um, trims and flowers and bits and bobs. My flowers are, all of them apart from this very pretty fabric one, are all from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, and there are daisies and roses. Uh, this particular flower with the, the pretty beads on it um, is from scrapandcraft.co.uk. Um, Petals are from my stash, and that's basically the front cover. Um, we open her up, and if I open the first page, I've made a little pocket um, <coughs> using some of the papers. I've also um, added a couple of um, photo mounts, one very plain uh, journal on the back, Mum Cheryl can journal on the back and add a photograph and another little mount using the papers and a Martha Stewart hat round the page punch um, is that one. I've managed to incorporate the date of uh, Lily Rose's birth which was the 16th of the 12th 2015 and I've added a little velvet rick rack trim to that particular pocket. We move to the next page and again, it's another pocket, um, and I've this time used a Spellbinders um, die to create um, a photo mount um, and a journaling section at the back. I've kept this white. Um, I cut it out twice, one in pink um, basil card and one in plain white so that the journaling can be popped on the back. Some little petals and some pretty pink polka dot um, ribbon finishes that little photo mount off 
um, and just to show you the mounts I've used, this particular one um, is Spellbinders uh, Card Creator uh, number three, Reflective Moments. Um, such a, a fabulous die for photo mounts and for mini albums and mini books. So if we turn the page, we come to our next one is a side pocket, which I've kept pretty plain. Um, and again, I've used a, a, a fabulous um, Spellbinders Shapeability die this time um, to create my photo mount. And this is Heirloom Rectangle number four. And again, I've done the same thing. It's a, a pearlized pink card and I've used white uh, card to um, cut out the photo mount, uh, which is very pretty. So that's that one. I pop that back in there. Next we have a, a, an open booklet page um, and I've used magnetic closures to keep them closed. Very, very um, simple. I wanted a, a large photograph of Lily Rose here <coughs> and maybe some journaling um, on this particular page or again it could be another uh, photo mount or she could use some of the stickers that I'm going to include um, in this little package for her. That just closes over and again um, I'll give her some stickers or she can put a photo of Lily um, on the front. Turn over the page and we again we've come back to just a pocket this time, um, a front pocket. I've used some of the cutouts and some of the borders. Um, if you can see them. Yep. Uh, pure joy and happiness in my heart, which I did have when um, I got my first uh, baby granddaughter. Again, these little bows are from um, Spellbinders. And once again, um, the little photo mount. Moving across, another side pocket. Um, these papers are not um, from the collection. Um, I thought I would add in just some that I liked, um, so to speak. Photo mount, brown um, background with polka dots on it. Um, matches in with this pretty paper and this is a die from Marianne Designs. Um, I cut it out, embossed it and then cut out again in pink um, penalised paper and added the little um, sections of the hood to make it pop out. Moving across we have another pocket um, page and I've cut out all the little bows um, in the, the same as the booklet and again the same die um, and this little booklet can be used for journaling or adding photographs um, whatever suits um, Cheryl. The pocket was made using um, Spellbinders um, border abilities um, the bracket borders number two um, and I think it's this particular one um, with the, the little uh, dots on it that I used for that. And instead of cutting it um, and making it into a page, it's um, into a pocket. Move across and this is a flip up page and again um, it's magnetically closed. If we lift it up, um, you can see at the top here there's a little pocket. Again, made with one of the uh, border ability dies. A couple of little um, journaling cards. Um, a pocket here, and again, journaling cards. This little banner is a desire um, die. And the little bows, again, are from Spellbinders. And that just closes over. Moving across again, we have a very pretty... Um, photo mount um, and a pocket obviously again pretty trim from the ribbon girls and the velvet rick rack this particular uh, photo mount uh, was created using again spellbinders um, 
capabilities. And this is Bo Elegance uh, number four, which is really absolutely gorgeous. You get quite a lot of um, dies in here. You even get the, the little bow that you can actually, if I show you here, you can cut it out and add it on uh, to match the colours underneath. So that's that particular one. Moving across, we have a pocket page um, and it's a fold out, pretty pink ribbon trim and this literally just folds out um, for a large photograph, maybe a smaller photograph or some journaling and it closes uh, magnetically. These two pages I've kept uh, quite plain, again for a larger photograph and the side pocket um, with the contrasting polka dots and the little um, uh, pram die cut again and a very simple large um, photo mount just slips in there. Moving across to this page, this is a booklet um, with um, cutouts and stickers from the collection and it opens to reveal um, a three-part um, page photograph on three sides if you wish photograph there um, and it's very very uh, it's, it's a pretty page I like it moving across here we have another booklet uh, with just a, again a pocket and I've added some very pretty uh, ribbon that says my princess um, and I've used a Martha Stewart um, edgy punch um, in the pink pearlized paper and also the little corners and again um, a little booklet that uh, she can use um, as she chooses uh, with a lovely um, cut out on it that says princess sugar and spice my sweet girl bundle of joy cutest button giggles giggles and precious and she has obviously all of those on to the last two pages, very plain, larger photograph, and then the back page is a, a pocket page, and again, two very pretty um, photograph mounts. Just a little brick rack here, and um, they slip in nicely. And I think if I remember correctly, this marries up with the front page, um, the same colours and the same paper. The back is just very plain, um, pink basil card, and it all ties up very prettily and stands um, very nice indeed. Um, so I'm hoping that Cheryl will enjoy filling this um, little album up for her daughter and for my granddaughter. Um, thank you very much for popping in to visit. I hope you enjoyed my little showing um, of this album and I hope you come back and see me again very soon. Bye for now.